So I uh, made something I'm going to call the glue battery. It's something very unique and very different, I, I, I think. I don't think anybody's really done this before. It's um quite simple. Just like a water barrier where you have a copper plate and something like aluminum plate or any really other type of metal plate you put in the water, you'll get a voltage. Thus, that makes a water battery type effect or earth battery or whatever you want to call it. It's the same effect. So what I've done, I made is a glue battery, and using just Elmer's glue, all-purpose glue, it comes out white and it dries clear, just like this. I've created, you can see, there's copper wire and there's aluminum wire. I made a glue battery, and yes, it does produce voltage. I'm gonna show you the voltage. You can see there's voltage in there. So yeah, now, I find it's quite interesting that it works in the first place because my understanding of how glue works is that when it gets out into the air like it is now, the water evaporates and it dries. So if there's no water in there, how is it necessarily working? And the bonds are holding all the things together so it might slow down the corrosion process in the vent. It might slow down the corrosion process. Because all the bonds are held together right now, so they're strong. I also tried it with uh, caulk, all purpose adhesive caulk in one, and it works too. Right now, I'm testing the idea of the same metals, and it works with the same metals too. And this is amazing, it's all dry now, and this is dry because it's clear. But this, I find it's quite amazing that it works because my understanding is that glue, when it dries, it, it, it evaporates the water, that's why it doesn't harden in there because the water can't evaporate. So that's the glue I used. Basic Elmer's glue. And this is the glue battery. Pretty neat. Let's show you the voltage up close. Pretty neat.